Hi, it's Travis with Two Brothers Adventures. We're out here today uh, on the Mogan Ramp. We're going to show you uh, what we're going to cook tonight for dinner. So uh, we're going to do some Dutch oven cooking. Uh, when we go out camping, uh, we, this is something we like to make a lot. It's pretty simple and easy. So basically we have a 12 inch deep uh, Dutch oven here and we have 24 chicken legs that are thawed. So we're going to take those, uh, we already put those in there and then we're just going to add um, three bottles of barbecue sauce, whatever kind of barbecue sauce you like. And then uh, we're going to take this and uh, we're going to put some coals out and we're going to let this stew in, in this barbecue sauce. Um, we're going to turn it about every 15 minutes and stir it, um, to stir it around, make sure they cook evenly and uh, it makes a really amazing good chicken. And then uh, we're also going to take some uh, Bush's baked beans there and we're going to cook them in the smaller, uh, I think that's an 8 inch Dutch oven, and heat them up in there. And uh, that's what we're going to eat tonight here at the campfire. So uh, we'll uh, kind of keep the video going. We'll show you the progress as, as it cooks. All right, so when we uh, cook a Dutch oven usually out in the, the woods like this, uh, you can use charcoal on that, but we don't typically like to haul it along. So we typically just use coals. Um, it's a little more maintenance. You have to keep adding uh, coals. But um, this is the way we do it. Um, like I said, mostly just because uh, taking the, the charcoal and hauling it out here and stuff is just more of a pain. Um, sometimes charcoal is nice because you can... Uh, control the heat a little bit better but uh, that's the one nice thing about at least this this setup or with the chicken and chicken legs and barbecue sauce it's uh, not too heat sensitive so anyways that's it getting started right, we're gonna uh, check the um, chicken for the first time so and we're gonna stir it around oh look at that boiling good that's what we like to see so I'm gonna that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the video off and uh, start. All right, so here's our uh, Dutch oven set up so far. We got the chicken over here in uh, about here. done. We're going to check it. Um, beans. Uh, beans, and then, we're going to do some garlic bread over that griddle when it heats up. So let's go take a look and see what the chicken looks like. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Five, right, ten more minutes and it should be good, huh? Yep. The nice thing is that Dutch oven acts like a pressure cooker and fuses all the flavor in there from that uh, barbecue sauce. Well, that's good. And we'll come back and show you the final product. Alright, so our Dutch oven chicken's done. We're going to get the lid off here and we're going to scoop it out and going to plate our first um, plate. So go ahead and give you a look at it here. It's taking about an hour and ten minutes only. Hey brother, go ahead and grab one of those out there. Ah, oh, look at that. So tender, it's just falling apart. Awesome. We'll get some beans. Alright, here you go Jessica. There you go. And then we got some garlic bread cooking right there on the skillet. So, so anyways, that's kind of a, that's at least what we're eating tonight. Um, we do some different things and some desserts and other things, but uh, this was our, we wanted to show you our meal for tonight.